you want to do the intro today? What's the intro? Well, good morning, just an intro. Okay. Good morning! <laughs> Day toi. Toi. A Paris. Day toi on Paris. On a Paris. A Paris. Good morning, it is day three of Paris. Alex has been for a solo walk. I went for a walk this morning because Marcus took, took too long. <laughs> too long. <laughs> Problem is, when I go abroad or anywhere that's not home, I tend to wake up at like. Which is strange because at home we don't wake up at all. No, I know, I'm really bad in the mornings normally, but when I'm somewhere new and I know there's like somewhere to explore, I wake up at like seven, half seven. That's why I was really, really good probably at Florida and like Paris, like Disneyland Paris, like all these places. So even somewhere like here that I've never been before, I like to get up super early and like see the things and everything. Marcus didn't wake up till half eight, so I had to wait for like an what hour and a half. What did you want to I know, I know. So yeah, so... How cold is this? It's not too bad, it's, it's a brisk... Will I be okay like brisk this? Air. I've got a t-shirt underneath. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think you'll be okay because you, you don't catch the cold as bad get, as me. Because you said it's going to be more... Just degrees? check the weather, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's been really warm the last few days, so we never really know how to dress. Because it is February, so you think it would be colder. Yeah, so after a successful Valentine's Day, today, after my solo walk, we are going to go to the hot chocolate place, which has the proper rich, oh, which has the proper rich hot chocolate, which is called... Carrot. Carrot. I can't say it, a carrot. So we're going to go there, just to kind of wake ourselves up, have a little croissant, and then we're going to head for a little... Yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> He needs validation. Today's fit. And then we're going to go for a little walk around and see the last few bits we want to see, which isn't really that much, it's just what we can fit in. And then tonight we are going to the Eiffel Tower, all the way up to the top, which, like I said, I didn't realise how tall it was, so it's going to be very high up. So we're going all the way up there tonight with it all sparkling, and I've never seen it sparkle still. So we say that to the very last night. Let's go! Ready to go for another day. Let's go. Let go. <laughs> I know, but I don't want to use this spoon because they've made it all chocolatey. <laughs> oh, it's good cream. Right, I'm going to taste it. <laughs> so we just had our hot chocolate. I didn't really record it, so I was just enjoying it. It was... It was so nice, like if you like hot chocolate. TikTok isn't like exaggerating, it's like so, so nice. And the crust one. The croissant was good, you get the jam with it, the jam made it, because the jam was great as well. But it, it wasn't that bad, it was like 13 quid for hot chocolate, the cream and croissant and some jam, so good price and it's really, really nice. So now we're making our way down to the station by Notre Dame, because we're going to go to where they filmed Emily in Paris, like a little bit of it, just to be nosy, because it's really close to where we are, and then we'll see what happens. Marcus was just saying that this street reminds him of like Belle from Beauty and the Beast and I totally, totally see it. Like little town, it's a quiet village, there's a, literally a restaurant called a Gaston right there. <laughs> and like the little fountain where she'd be like, oh isn't this amazing, it's my favourite part. Over here. Yeah, this literally is like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. What a good spot, Marcus. I am very good. I like that. So we found the area where they film the dinner party outside, which is just here. I'll try and get some pictures and like put them there so you can see. Uh, but this is the area where they do all the, the little party outside. And there's like a, what happens again? Like she's cheating. It's her birthday they find party. It's her birthday party. party. Uh, Gabrielle's that way there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's here. So that's, I'll show you, I'll get a bit closer. So that's there, and then literally around the corner just here is where they film for the restaurant. This is where Gabrielle's restaurant is. Uh, literally right opposite, and the bakery she goes to, so everything here is like so close together, which is easy. I like Emily in Paris, but I do think the story is very naff. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Like, it's such a typical love story in Paris. Um, 
and then obviously you know she works this job which realistically wouldn't pay her that much money and it is romanticized like yeah it's a good series but it is so the story is rubbish i do think the story is a bit but it's one of those series that you can get addicted to and it's one of those perfect that's in the background so that's my views on Emily in Paris. I'm not a massive fan, we just thought since we're here and I have watched it, I was like, I will just go down and see it. Uh, but it is a good series, but just not the best story in the world. <laughs> forget to vlog for a bit and we had some bits to sort out we completely forgot went for that meal it was all a bit bizarre because I booked it for two but they were like oh it's 2 30 I was like no 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 I booked this for two o'clock looked on the booking I was like it says two and they were like oh oh yeah it's two um it's two sorry 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 tried to get us a seat Anyway, and then we got a seat. Turns out it was much more expensive than we thought. It was so expensive, the menu was there, and it was literally about 45 euros for just the main course, and it did say the meat was meant to be like amazing though. But I was like, 45 euros for one course? I was like, that is crazy. So we found out it was super expensive, so we ended up just getting one main course. We got like a chicken dish, and then a side of fries, and they give you bread for free. Just because 42 euros per course, or 45 euros, whatever it was, that would be like, what, 50 quid each nearly for like just the main course on the side and we couldn't afford that so yeah so we ended up just literally getting the one to share i will say the meat was amazing it tasted beautiful however would i have paid that much probably not <laughs> so how much was it well it was 42, 42 euros, euros so that would have been like 40 quid for one main six course euros for some chip. we paid six euros for chips it was a lot but anyway we, we tried it was okay but not the best so, for the price anyway, it was amazing food, but not for that price. Um, anyway, and then as we came out, it was also quite frantic in there, wasn't it? Yeah. It was really frantic, everyone was everywhere. Anyway, we came out, and then we came back, just because we felt a bit tired again. And also, we're out late tonight, so we're going to see the Eiffel Tower at night, because we're going up it at 9.30. So we thought, oh, we'll have like a few hours at home, we're going to pack. Tomorrow, we're leaving very early. We're leaving at 8. What time are we leaving? Well, the train to go home is The at train to go home is at 8.30, which means we'll have to leave our place at like 6.30. So we packed everything in case we are a bit late tonight. Uh, so now we're on our way to see the Moulin Rouge, just to see the theatre, because we're just intrigued. Going back to that area where we left off. And then seeing where the night takes us. Oh, he's a tired baby, he's tired. <laughs> it's very windy. Oh, look at you. <laughs> And look where we are, dun, 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 dun. the Moulin Rouge. We are not going in, unfortunately, as we so could expensive. not afford it. It was like, how much? 150 quid? It was really cool though, especially now. Nice. Moulin Rouge. We went to see it in the West End about off our anniversary in September, actually, we did. to see that. And it was incredible. However, a lot of people say the musical's better than the actual one in Paris. So I don't know how true that is, but yeah, it's amazing. But we thought, well, we've seen that one. We didn't need to pay 150 quid to see this one, but one day we will. Okay, so guess what street we're on? There's a lot of it. This word is everywhere you turn. More there. There's some stuff down there. It's basically girls, girls, girls. Let me oh, zoom in. You can see pictures of them. It's a private show. A table show. You can see a table <laughs> show. That's a table show. Should we go? Probably serve food. That's <laughs> My 
my sister sent this to me and was like, you have to take pictures in this photo booth, which is this one here. It's just in a random street in Paris. So we're just waiting for them to print now. It takes four minutes to print apparently, which takes a long time. So yeah, we'll see what they look like because that's exciting. But it's so random, isn't it? It's just in the middle of the street and this street is so empty. Look at it, like, wow. 60 years ago, each photo strip is analog developed, making every piece an original that stays light fast for a hundred years. There are about less than 50 analogue photo booths remaining in the world and we can contribute to preserve this photographic heritage. There you go. Is that it? Yes. Yay! Yes. Oh. Ah. Can I see them? It's wet. Okay, why are you wet? I think it's like originally developed in water. Oh my gosh, it's literally done. Wow. That's so cool. Typical us. <laughs> We're now like running because the Eiffel Tower is due to spark sp spark <laughs> sparkle in five minutes. We can see the top of it. We're just walking to the Seine and I've never seen it sparkle and this is my only really chance before we go. So we're just going to see it now. It's literally yes. there. Uh, it's we're nearly there. So yeah, and then I'll show you the sparkle. <laughs> I found this place online, like where's the best place to watch the Eiffel Tower sparkle from? And I have to say, I think this is probably one of the wow. best views. So we're so excited. I mean, you've seen it, haven't you? Have you seen it sparkle already? No. Oh, he's never seen it either. So this is very exciting. Oh, this is so cool, Marcus. It won't do it justice, I'm telling I see if you, oh my God, look at it. <gasps> wow. The camera probably doesn't even do it justice, but wow. That's so pretty. Look. Oh my God. It's so cool. I know you can't really see, but it is so cool. We're about to go up the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> you excited? Yes. It's very high. It's very <laughs> We were walking past like the main strip. If, they, if they've got it afterwards, we'll show you again. But everyone's standing in the middle of the road taking pictures. The outfits, like sparkly dresses, like, well, that's it really. They're all sparkly dresses, yeah. but it's so dangerous. But it was so funny. I'll try and show you at the end. <laughs> You okay? It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> wow. Aren't we, aren't we going where a knife shot This is stunning. Marcus is struggling. This is the first floor. We've still got to go all the way up there. <laughs> oh, this is the second floor. Sorry, we've still got to go to the first floor. Hold on to a piece of his Stopping. <laughs> Just need to sit down and take it all in. No rush. No, there is no rush. <laughs> He's very nervous to do this at the next floor. On the lift. <laughs> he was just holding on like for dear life. That's him. This is so, so surreal, like, to be here. Like... Do we need I, to go any higher? This is perfect view. We do need to go higher because I want an even further view. But how can you... What will it give you? I don't understand. Yeah, but it's just... Look, this, this is how they built it. Like the top wasn't even done. Well, I want to go higher. <laughs> I, well, I think what it is, I, I see the height, and I don't know why, my, I can feel this shooting through my legs <laughs> of like, what if the floor just fell? Oh, bless you. Oh god. I don't know if Marcus is gonna come up at the moment. He's a bit nervous. <laughs> well I still you whispering, but I'm just saying we're not sure if he's gonna come up. We're not sure if he's gonna come up at the moment. I mean I could be going up to the top by myself, which is absolutely fine. Um, because he's a little bit worried. <laughs> Can you, let go, can you let go? Are you okay? You can feel it moving. No, you can. You can feel the floor moving. Is it? The wind. I can't, I can't feel any movement. 
You okay? You let go? I can't let go. Oh, do, you want, do you want to come please? <laughs> okay, well I'll show this guy, these guys. Stand here, just stand, hold on, hold on to me. Hold on to me, hold on to me. It's okay. It's okay, come here. I can't go. Come, yeah, that's fine. Hold on to me. Come here. I'm gonna hold on to you, okay? There you go. Wait. So now let, just hold on. There you go. Look at the view. How amazing it is. Mira, mira, mira el barco en el, en el río. <laughs> Marcus was saying when we were on the arc, the tree on how high it was, look how small it looks from here. It's that tiny little building over there. <laughs> and we're now all the way at the top of the Eiffel Tower. God, it's very impressive. <laughs> Guys, the Eiffel Tower is sparkling and we're on it. Really? Terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Terrified. That's so cool. It's sparkling. Like all this. As if it's sparkling. This is quite cool. I'm surprised they have these big caps. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's very windy. Oh, this is the champagne bar. <laughs> oh, the champagne bar? Champagne? Champagne at the top of the Eiffel Tower. It's very windy. Oh, my dear, my hair. Wow, this view. Oh my god, it's so cool. One glass, how much? How much? 17 euros. 17 euros for one glass of champagne. 17 euros. And people will pay it. Come here. Come for the video. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Let everyone see where you are. Can everyone just know? You're still on that. He owes me a lot of things. Let, I owe all this for him. <laughs> Look at what we're stood on. The tallest building. It's so windy. In Pali. Oh. It is very windy though. Oh, my wallet. Right, I'm having a crap after this. I'm having, having my own crap. <laughs> you can have your own. We've gone down to the first floor now, and Marcus is petrified because I'm stood on a glass. <laughs> you can't really see through it, but I don't know if you can see, but basically that's like down to the bottom. But I can do like a little tap bounce. And I'm literally fine, but Marcus for it even stand on it. Marcus! Come on, no. stand on it. I'm not doing You it. can't even see through. It's going through. I've done a lot for you today, I'm not doing Why? it. Why? It's basically, that's the top, obviously all the way up there. We're like quite far down the bottom. Now this is the first floor, but he won't do it. You're boring. You're boring. You're boring. Right, we're breaking up. Hear this first, everyone. We're broken up. What? We're broken up. We're broken, broken up. up. But I think this is really cool. Look at this. The Eiffel Tower is here. And Marcus has walked away from me. Marcus. Well, there we go. We did it. <laughs> we did it. So we have completed Paris. Happy. Pretty much. We've done everything, I think. Right, haven't we? Yeah, all the main We've did all the main things. We're finishing sitting on the first floor of the Eiffel Tower with a view of Paris at night. It's been... Probably one of the best cities I've ever been to. Would you say? I think so. It's yeah, yeah. stunning, and if you are debating about going to Paris, 100%, like take that trip because it was actually amazing. Yeah, there's nothing else we need to say. I guess that's it for the vlog. We're gonna go get a crap, one more crap to finish off, and then we'll go back to the hotel. Yeah, it's been absolutely incredible. Loved every second, and I will definitely be coming back. I don't know about you, will you be? Yes. He's so done with my conversations now, vlogging, aren't you? Is this Rihanna's new baby? Talking about Rihanna's new baby. Yes. No, it's not. What? No, she's, I don't know. she's not it's that pregnant. Baby. No, it's her, her first baby. Anyway. Mm. Yes, I'll come back again. Bonsoir. And. Yeah, that's I it. Said that enough this time, no, I haven't. I really haven't said much French, but I only know bonjour, merci, bonsoir. Au revoir. That's kind of it. But no, it's, it's been beautiful. So until the next holiday, because I probably won't vlog until then because <laughs> that's all I do. See you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.